everybody today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters in so Hollywood and starlight I hope you guys took way advantage of their cyber Monday sale which I posted on my Instagram so I hope you guys are following me on my Instagram and recycle starters there um, they were selling one highlighter plus the a23 brush for $26 normally these highlighters are about 28 so and the brush, I don't remember how much it is, but basically it's a $53 value for $26. So huge, huge value. I hope all of you took advantage of that. Anyway, today I'm here to review um, Starlight, which I'm wearing today. It's giving me this glow, this life. Um, and I'm also going to be reviewing So Hollywood because a nice golden illuminator. Who can go wrong with that? Um, so I did try, I, before I got the A23 brush, I was using a simple fan brush and that worked, but this brush just blew me away. I'm going to be doing a review on this brush too. Uh, this brush just made it work so much better. Like this just, this was a little lifesaver. Like today I was applying it and I'm just like, how did I live without you? How? Like I was having one of those moments. Um, so I'm going to get this quickly swatched up, by the way. It has a cute little art deco design inside here, which I absolutely loved, but it actually helps you to pick up the product. So whether you're using a fan brush or you're using the E23, do a sweeping motion very lightly. Um, you can pick up the product. As you can see, I picked up my product on here. And then I did a swipe back and forth like this. And as you can see, I'm already starting to get that shine there. Now, when I apply it to my face, I simply, to get this glow look, I apply it right here to the cheekbone, and then I just go back and forth like this with the tip. And it really just helps to layer on the product. And I will do this until I'm completely glowing. Now, the, my, the Starlight one is a very silvery type of highlight, and as you can see, it gives that white glow. I also apply it to the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, and also the center of the forehead. But I always kind of keep it flat and do like a sweeping motion. Now, So Hollywood is a golden highlighter, and this is definitely um, kind of like a cult favorite. I find that most people like the golden highlight. Um, in preference over the silvery highlight. Do you see the golden reflection? You can layer it and layer it and layer it, which is the great part. You can keep doing that and layering it and it'll have that glow in the light. Now my personal preference is I tend to rotate between a gold shade and a white shade depending on what I'm doing because I feel like it also kind of comes down to like what are you doing if you're going for a natural look with a lot of browns go for the gold if you're going for a look with lots of reds you can go either way purples you can go either way i tend to switch it up today i put gold underneath my eyes for my look and i decided i wanted to go with a silver highlight to really contrast with my contour and my deep blush i didn't want to put gold on top of a deeper blush so really it comes down to creativity and how you wear your highlighters but i feel like honestly both should be in your arsenal because they're just so versatile they're so versatile i found the other two shades to be a little bit too dark for my skin tone um and i do feel like starlight might be too light for certain skin tones it might come off a little bit just chalky or it might come off a little chalky it might be just too light um with that being said these get a thumbs up they have a very smooth formula very long wear the brush by the way again really easy to apply definitely gives you that glow that you're looking for you can use a fan brush or whatever brush you've been using for your highlight that works for you i'm just saying if you don't have a brush already and you want to check out something to apply your highlight the a23 was just tops very smooth soft bristles um i didn't have any bristles fall out felt like a high quality brush um, I've never tried Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes before. I, I usually stick with the, um, the Sonia Kashox or SK brushes from Target. I usually stick with those and I like them. So um, if you're used to something like that, you'll probably appreciate this kind of brush. But I pray full price for this brush? No. But I'm do glad. I am, I am very glad that I got to try it. If you picked up any of the shades, let me know. Did you like them? Did you hate them? Leave me some comments below. Um, I love reading you guys' opinion. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.